Screw your television. My mission with these words is for you to television. Since television has distorted too many souls' vision, for I feel television is not what television is supposed to be in terms of humans' eye vision. <laughs> Our minds inside a box, boxed in. Most are unable to think out of the box, even when they box in this box, they boxed in. Too many visions in this box that will never come to life because they boxed in to this box prison of thoughts and ideas that is too hard for them to box back the box that boxed them into a box they boxed in. <laughs> Sometimes I free myself temporarily, though my tempo already keeps up with the masters. It's gotten so bad that these days I even lost faith in these posters. Free myself a minute or so with the mind quickly ends for what it's used to because outside the box there's only a few of us while inside there's food and the rest of us too much of our time it consumes all the time that we fail to make time creating a legacy of our own which might remain throughout time on top of the time our nine to fives consume all the time we hardly have our own time at all the only time we think we have time is the time or time again being stripped away from us in a form of entertainment with our eyes glued on the screen time and time again yeah. The puppeteers are pulling the strings, using TV as a tool to shift our focus from what really matters. It's hard to progress while still attached to strings. Our lives are puppet shows, the puppet masters calling all their shots. Screw your television. Yeah. Yeah, 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 My mission with these words is for you, the television. Since television has distorted too many souls' vision, for I feel television is not what television is supposed to be in terms of human's eye vision. Yeah. I look at the screen immediately, I dislike what I see. Because whatever displays on the screen is something whoever is in control wants us to see. So you see, what we see is not really what we see and should see. This fabrication we see prevents us from seeing the truth hidden beneath. For if it were to manifest, our eyes would capture. And the revolution to these bastards would be like rapture, which is something they'll never be ready to witness. Yeah. I witness, in fact, my eye witness its influence through children absorbing what their eyes catch on the screen. Put it on practice with intentions of being seen, with their minds already programmed to not think beyond what's being displayed on the screen, using fantasy to fabricate TVs through deceitful form from ever being seen. But even though we see it is the root of all sin, we still aspire to be part of the sin. Blinded by lights, camera, and action from seeing the sin we so aspire to be part of only enables us to sin. Yeah. My mother, a victim of the system, yet she doesn't seem to mind. For years, my people have been on a search over something they cannot find. The illusion has settled into their hearts, even with their eyes wide open, they still blind. What good of a freedom physically, when the only thing short colors still have in a cage, is your mind. Yeah. Uh, the second one is very personal to me. Uh, it is called Everything He Was. Boxing is a very personal sport in my life. On a daily basis, I was audience to a boxing match between dad and his wife. My mother's face was a fist, where his fist would always feast upon. And there was never a day whereby her face would not face a face where his fist would feast upon her gorgeous face. He was supposed to be the one who's got her back. Instead, he left multiple bruises on her back. Still, those bruises on her back never prevented her from always having his back, even though she knew he would continue bruising her back when he comes back. 
her screams, and his constant verbal assault was everyday music in our house. The music he composed was never meant to be heard outside our house, for it will expose the deeds my father did, which made him resent exposure, though her body remained a piano where his hands would compose multiple melodies on without ever losing composure. He was also an artist and affected the art of, li of living marks on her body. Her body became his palette, where he would paint multiple bruises on with his hands like that of Picasso. Every single day was an omnibus of the same drama. Not even once did she go to sleep without him casting stones that hammered her self-esteem. Yet, by dawn, he would wake up and make up. Her bruises would be covered with make up. And I couldn't make up what was up with her, for she never considered a break up, though continuously her face by his fits was always mashed up. She would say, The man I once fell in love with is still in there. Maybe if I just hold on a little bit longer, I can reach out to him down there. I think the man she fell in love with was never there to begin with. He only portrayed the perfect character that she eventually fell in love with. I only understood the concept of soccer through him where he would kick mom on the floor. If I was a qualified referee, I would have blown the whistle for foul play so he could stop. But I was just a boy, unaware of such rules, so he continued victimizing her more and more. The more she begged was the more his feet would stop her chest until she can cry no more. The beatings were getting stronger each and every day. To a point where she pleads and God doesn't seem to be hearing her pray. My dad, a predator, my mom, his prey, where each night he would seek to pray. Despite God not answering her prayers, she would still go down on her knees and continue to pray. Still, by dawn, he wakes up and makes up. Her bruises would be covered with make up. And I couldn't make up what was up with her, for she never considered the break up, though continuously her face by his fist was always meshed up until she had enough of such life yeah. and took her own life with the kitchen knife. I personally feel that my dad never truly deserved such a wonderful wife. But then again, I guess that's just life. Jamela. I recognize the name from my Facebook friends. Um Goku Safumana Umandi Sibog Jonga Yabian Gil Jajika and goes, Yo, ha, 